Looking to fast track to Act 2, I'll show you how. First thing you need to do is open up your browser, find nexusmods.com, find the cyberpunk game, in the mod section type in Act 2. Scroll down just a little bit. And there's what you're looking for. If you're unfamiliar with Nexus Mods, definitely worth checking out if you're a gamer. But wait. These save packs are minimalist, unmodified saves. There are six save packs, one for each gender and background. Each pack has five saves. You will need to log in to be able to download. But fortunately, Nexus Mods isn't uh, horrible and they're not going to fill your inbox up with garbage. Now, you can't download these with Vortex, they are a manual download only. Once you figure out which one you want, grab it. It's a slow download. They're very small files, so it'll only take a second. Now, we want to make sure that nothing is going to screw up the integrity of the clean save files when you put it in the game. That means if you don't use any mods at all, go ahead and skip up to If you use mods already, open up Vortex. Once it's done loading, make sure you've got Cyberpunk selected. Go down to the mods section and click the orange tab near the top. It says Purge Mods. If you haven't used this before, don't freak out. It's not going to erase anything. It's just going to disconnect the mods from your game. You can re-enable them later. Close Vortex out. Now we got to go make sure that the game folders themselves don't contain any standalone mods. There are two files we need to find to check to make sure that they don't have anything in them. One is Archive, PC, Content. You can check this list against yours and make sure that these are the only files that you have in there. Otherwise, you're going to need to move them to an outside folder or erase them and reinstall them later. And mods folder is the other. Now the dot stub file is fine. Alright, let's unzip those new saves. Find your preferred open zip unzip program. 7zip is free and easy. If you've got a lot of file folders hanging out waiting for you, make sure you've got the right one. The extraction should only take a split, tiny files. When you open it up, you'll see the folders with the descriptions. Those are not what you want to put in your save files. The manual save with the number is what you want to put in there, the folder. We'll get back to that in a minute. First things first, can't iterate this enough. Back up your saves. Now let's find your saved games. Open up your primary disk drive, find users, you, or your account, scroll down until you find saved games. Now I ain't going in and out of mine a lot doing things like this, so I pin to mine. In the same games folder, you'll have CD Project Red, Cyberpunk 2077, and that's where all your current save files are going to be kept. You're going to want to make an extra folder to put these in. I've already got several on my desktop. Make sure that your game is not up and running when you modify any kind of save file. Always make sure it's shut off. Now there is going to be a file called user.gls. You can copy that, but you don't want to erase it unless you want to reset all of your game settings. Anyway. Take a new save file folder. That's manual with a number, the folder. Take that, put it in your Cyberpunk 2077 folder, and that's all you gotta do. Load up your game, pull your launcher up, make sure your enable mods tab is off to begin with if you usually use it up. Now if you only have a couple of mods that don't affect the game's core mechanics, this probably won't be an issue, but especially if you use a lot of heavy modding, make sure you purge mods. 
Now inside each of the save packs, two of those save files, number four and number five, are going to be for Act 2. The difference is that number five is also after Heroes, Jackie's Ofrenda, which will grant us two pistols, Pike, and a couple of unique items from his garage. Again, these are minimalist runs, so they only have what was required to get through Act 1 and into Act 2. However, they do have all the missable items from Act 1, and a few special granted. Core character stats are all still pretty much baseline, so you have the ability to put your few starting stats and perk points wherever you like. The exception of a couple that went into tech for some extra XP in the early parts of the game. As you may already know, cyberware is pretty expensive and no one was acquired to get this far. Only the bare bones of the missions have been completed to get through Act 1. If you use mods, make sure you close the game back out entirely before you redeploy or reinstall, and otherwise you are good to go. Good luck, Chuba.